Okay, welcome back to in Texas. I had to pause that and then I hit the wrong button. So we went out um, first. You're not going to see me. It's not edited. Um, it's not anything. It's not perfect. I just do these to get the deals out because it feels good saving this kind of money. Um, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I know it's a hard time for a lot of people. For me, it is just my brother and my son. We don't have family in East Texas, so we make do what we can. Plus, my brother works at retail so he worked last night and so it's always like huh eh, when do I cook when do I do this and then he came home this morning and took us um to do some deals I didn't want to get my son out but I really needed him to I was trying to have him try on blue jeans but they weren't letting people try on stuff which I don't I don't get they were the other day but I guess because so many more people I don't know so we went, did some deals at Walmart. I did some deals at CVS, which we went out yesterday, and I didn't realize that CVS deals had started yesterday, but it is what it is. And then we also went to Academy trying to find this boy, man some boots because I don't know, and I told him when he bought, I think it's only been maybe a month um, since he bought those over there. They're duck boots, which duck boots are um, rain boots, and he has split the heel on them. I mean, he only spent... $40, but like I tried to tell him that's why they're rain boots. So he did find a pair of boots. I Well, I don't know boots, whatever. We'll see what they work, but let me go through. I also did Ibotta because I was so close. I had seven more items that I needed to get my level two, which I don't really pay attention to the bonuses because I think you have to get it between so many, so much money and then the offers. I usually hit the money thing pretty well, but it's the offers. For level two, you had to do $20 and 35 offers. Since I was there, I went ahead and did it. It, it just earned me a dollar, but I didn't want to be spending a lot of money on items just to get rebates, just to say I did it. Um, that's pointless. The point is to make rebates and try to make money. So I got items that aren't the greatest, but we can use them and they were low out of pocket. So this Mountain Dew is $1.88, um, rebates a dollar, so it makes it a dollar. Same thing with this Pepsi, $1.88 makes it $0.88. Cents. Um, we use this butter because H-E-B still has not gotten the, I cannot believe it's vegan butter. And I don't like every day using this butter. Um, it's okay for like garlic bread and stuff like that. And they do have an almond one of this, but my son's allergic to nuts. And I'm trying to think what the other one's. The other one's coconut. I don't even like that one. But this is not the greatest deal. It is $2.18 for this little bitty thing. And this is an empty one. The other one's in the freezer. Um, your rebate's only $0.75, cents, making it $1.43. Now, usually when I do this deal, you only have to get one. But because I've been getting it so much, it made me get it too. These are a dollar. These are the yogurt bars. This is the vanilla one. They have a strawberry one and a blueberry one and a peanut butter one. But this is the one I like. Um... So this is $2. Your rate's only a quarter, but it's $1.75 for two. So not the greatest, but it's cheap. Um, they do have, by the same brand, a Greek yogurt in Parfait. I think it's originally $1.98. The first time you get that, it is a freebie, but my store does not carry that. So it is what it is. And now they have a Crunch Bar that you can get. It's $0.88, cents, and then it's the same, I think, $0.20 cent rebate. But I don't think they carry it anymore. The other day when we did it, my son said he got the last one. Today when he looked for it, there wasn't even a box. But he did find the Butterfinger, which we haven't found for a while. This is $0.88, cents, $0.20 cent rebate, making it $0.68. Cents. Now this was another deal too I got the other day, and I only needed to get one. Today I had to buy two. I like this with some um, granola. This is not, at least in my store, with the regular yogurt. Um, they redid my store, so where the eggs and stuff used to be, it's now sour cream, yogurt, and all of that stuff. And then on the very end, it's like plant-based stuff. And that is where this is, I guess because it's keto. I don't know. This is when you have to get two of them, or at least for me, I did. They're a dollar... I don't know. It's two fifty six for two, and then you're it's a BOGO deal, so you're getting back $1.48 dollar forty eight. Making them a two a dollar oh eight for both of them. I think though they're only they're only a dollar twenty eight. So even when you were doing just the one of them and getting back the dollar forty eight, 
it was um, making 20 cents on it. Um, these I like just to snack on. They are not the greatest. Um, you get six of these snacks. They're cut up cheeses. Um, this is Colby and Monterey Jack. There's three or four different ones of this. This is $3.48. Now on it was a Peely that I used for a dollar off. And then you're getting a dollar rebate. So it makes it a dollar forty-eight for six of these. Now that's pretty pretty good deal, I think. And then I usually find the true lemon kids or energy in the clearance aisle. And I was looking for cheaper rebates, and I just happened to be in the aisle where this was, and I noticed that they have a fruit punch. Well, my kid likes fruit punch, it has vitamins, and he needs to drink more water. So I thought I'd give this a try. And this is every day just a dollar ninety-seven with and then I get a rebate of 40 cents, making a dollar fifty-seven. And you get 10 packs. So that's like what? 50 cents a pack? Something like that. So I earned 608 on all those rebates. Then I'm at my level two bonus, making it an extra dollar, making it seven dollars and eighty cents. Uh, seven dollars and eight cents. Somebody had one in a printout. I usually write this out, but in case you want to see it if anybody watches my videos, which a few do, thank you. Okay, then I also do Fetch. Fetch is a reward system where you can go scan your receipts. And even things at restaurants and gas stations, you will get five points. So, it's a deal. Um, every receipt in a store will get you 25 points. I say that, but I think Academy only gave me five but there are deals where there are bonuses that will get you extra deals. And right now, I don't know if they're just trying to pack your points for Christmas. Because once you reach um, certain amounts, you can re re get gift cards and stuff like that. So it's a good deal for Christmas. Um, there was a bonus at CVS on... Nope, not going there. I will do CVS in another video because I'm already at 8 minutes. So at Walmart, I got 50 points for the Mountain Dew and 31 points for the Pepsi. So, um, eight, sorry, 18 points for the Pepsi and 31 for the Mountain Dew. So 50 points. And with Fetch, 1,000 equals a dollar. So that is whatever, like what, 5 cents? I don't know. And then at checkout 51, um, I still haven't reached, um, I don't know how many times... You can claim some items. Some items you can claim only five. Sometimes there's a certain amount overall for everybody. And then it usually says zero or whatever. This one I've claimed a couple times. But I've been getting an extra dollar for this. So this is actually ended up being 43 cents for this tub of butter. So. Um, now. As far as Black Friday went. I wanted to get my son some blue jeans. These Wranglers were $12. They're originally $17.87. So you're saving $5.87 there. But they don't fit him. They fit him, but they're too tight. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those. This plush Zen Pella, I did not like the ones I got from Sam's. I think they stink and I can't get past that. I don't know what the original price on that is. I tried looking it up, but it was $5. So it is what it is. These, um... I figured they were between $14 and $15 originally, and they're on sales for $5, so saved about $8 bucks there. I do not know what these socks are originally. Um, these are the Dickies Dry Tech socks. These five packs were $5 each, so a dollar pair of socks. I think that was a good deal. Socks for my brother, underwear for both of them. I grew up with my grandparents mostly, and that was one thing we got every Christmas was that's when we got socks and underwear. And I'm 39, and I just, Christmas time comes, you're getting new underwear and new socks. I don't know. I'm weird. I don't know. So, um, and then I also got this because I saw this, looked at it, and thought it was an okay deal, but I wasn't going to get it. But then my brother said we needed another comforter. Um, it is an eight piece full queen. I think that was the only size I saw, but you get a reversible quilt, two pillows, a, you get four pieces, eight pieces. So you basically get two sets for $35. I think this, if I looked up right, is anywhere between $49 and $60. So I probably saved like $15 there. And then I don't know what the prices are on their washcloths and their towels. And I know people are going to, if somebody comments, oh, they're thin, they're, I don't care. I like them thin and I love this color. 
um, six of them for a dollar sixty, and then I got three towels um, for a dollar sixty each, so four eighty. Again, I don't know what the prices are on those. So I saved about twenty nine dollars. I'm guessing on the stuff that I can guess on, and then my brother works at Walmart, so we got about a nine dollar discount, so about thirty eight dollars savings. But then I got eight dollars between all my rebates, saving forty six dollars. We spent. $112, so about a 25% savings, which I think is okay. And we got some other, two other items that were, we got a, like two slices of cheesecake that was clearance, and then he got some pretzels that were clearance as well. So I think that was a good deal overall. So that was my Black Friday and my Ibotta haul. I will come back with you and do CVS, because that is a whole mess and I'm already at 11 minutes. Thank you if you are watching this. Bye-bye. Oh, real quick. These I got. I went Thanksgiving because I needed broth. And um, our Dollar General was the only thing open because we had an accident with the broth. Oh, no, gravy. Sorry, not broth. Gravy. We had an accident with the gravy. These were originally $10 at Dollar General. Blue tags were 70% off, so these were $3. These are size extra large. They're men's. I don't know if I'm going to give them to my brother or if I'm going to try fitting in them, but they are so soft. Thank you for watching. Be right back.